Hi everyone, my name is Dow Ryan and I'm so excited to have been chosen as the first recipient of the NatureWise Design Contest grant for Aprovecho's integrated water harvesting system. I've been working on designing these earthwork systems here at Aprovecho pretty much ever since I got here 13 years ago. And so receiving this grant really means a lot to me and my husband Abel who have been working on developing the water and disaster, especially fire resilience of this site. And being able to build this pond this summer will make a huge difference to our water storage capacity as well as um, being able to keep the forest and the landscape down below where the pond will be located hydrated through our increasingly dry, hot, and smoky summers. So thank you, you all, for voting for us. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of a picture of the scope of the site that we're working with and where the pond's going to be located. So this pond here in front of me is the top of our water harvesting system. We are right at the property boundary, the northeastern corner of Aprovecho. And in the summer of 2016, we built this hand-dug pond with participants in our Summer Permaculture Design Certificate course. And this is a small key point pond. It's basically the first high low point on the property where water collects. And you can kind of tell by the landscape position by seeing the slope up behind the pond. This is one of those spots where the land goes from convex to concave. And in key line design, we kind of think about those spaces as areas where water collects, and indeed it does. Um, since we've excavated this pond, it has held water year round, um, even in our increasingly hot and dry summers. And so this is kind of the feeder pond for the pond that we're going to build later this summer with the grant money. And I'll show you that spot here in a second. So this little creek right here flows down from the spillway of that upper Key Point pond. And part of that flow is going to continue to flow down just like you see it now into the large pond. And I'm pretty much sitting right in the middle of where that pond is going to be. And then the water from this will flow down into another pond that we've already built, uh, which then overflows into a spillway which goes, can be diverted off into our uh, one and a half acre garden and orchard, um, or it can flow into a series of other ponds that we've built down below this. But this pond here is really going to be the big storage. It's probably going to be about 300,000 gallons by our estimation uh, based on the size and, and scope of this location and it's really going to make a huge difference to the site's water holding capacity and will hopefully help recharge the hydrology of this forested hillside um, which also then feeds into the area where the well is on site um, and also the gardens down below us. This is one of the ponds that we built about 10 years ago, and this is the next pond that the bigger pond we're building this summer uh, will drain into. The spillway is just under that little bridge over there, and that will flow down into the, either the garden or into a series of other ponds that we have below here, depending on are used for the water at the time. One of our other plans for this pond is to connect it via a slight drain across the slope. So from where it collects in the valley where we just were to move across the hot, dry, south facing slope uh, ridge to another valley uh, across the top of the property. And I'm sitting by one of the survey stakes here that shows the general direction of where some of that water is gonna move. So the pond is gonna have a spillway that keeps a, a portion of the water in the drainage where the pond is going to be located, but a portion of the water will be able to be spread and moved across the slope to water uh, fruit and nut trees that we have planted on the hot, dry ridge, as well as eventually move it over across to another drainage. Um, so we're hoping that by capturing and storing this water and moving it across the landscape that will eventually really rehydrate this whole south-facing slope, which 
we're already starting to see some pretty serious effects of drought and drying on both the Douglas fir and the Grand fir tree species that are predominant in this area. Um, there, a lot of them along our forested edges are dying from heat stress, um, drought stress. So we're really excited to get to work and continuing to mitigate um, some of the effects of climate change that we're just starting to see in this area. And the pond is going to be a really big part of that. So thank you so much for your support and these endeavors, and we look forward to keeping you posted as we continue on with the implementation. We'll also be hosting a couple of workshops associated with surveying for the final site of the pond and implementation. So we'll keep you posted on that as well. Thank you again.